On today's video, I'm going to explain exactly what triads are on the guitar, why you should use them, and some exercises so you can get better immediately. Now, this video won't be short, but it will be exhaustive, and by the end, you're going to have a very firm grasp on triads. So, let's get into it. All right, so triads are just very simply, very plainly, three-note guitar chords. Okay, so like if I play this, this three note guitar chord, that's a triad, literally. And you know, you're probably used to this bar chord, but if you just take off your first finger, right, that three finger, or sorry, that three note chord is just a triad. So, you know, let's dumb it down even more. Say uh, this chord, this C chord, if I literally just take off my ring finger, and just play these three notes, that's a triad. Now triad, we could get fancy and in the weeds about music theory, and I, I don't wanna go there on today's lesson. Um, but basically what you need to know is a triad is a three note guitar chord, okay? And there are major triads, there are minor triads, there are, you know, there's, a, there's diminished triads, there's augmented triads, and you know, if you're, kind of like balking your head like, oh my gosh, that's too much. Don't worry, let's walk through exactly how you can use them musically. So I was thinking, okay, you know, the song My Girl um, by The Temptations, you know, you could play, you could play this chord, you know, C to F, you know, but if you're using triads, just as, as an example, and we're going to get into this, um, and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm doing, but you could just play this C to F. C, F. Right? And so automatically it has this more like R&B flair. So the advantage of playing triads versus full bar chords is that you're able to move up and down the neck. So say say you're you know you're only using a bar chords, right? You you can only play a C this way and this way, right? One two. But if I play triads, I can play it here and here and here and here and here and here and here here and here. You know I can go all the way all the way up the neck, right? And that gives you an advantage, right? Because the more ways you can do something the better. It also helps you get out of the way of other instruments. You know, if the keyboard player is playing down here or you're playing with another guitar player and they're playing down here and you want to play and get out of their way, it's a good idea to play up here and triads will help you do that. And here's another little bonus too. Um, for me, triads help make melodies. Okay. So what I mean by that is like the top note of my chord will be uh, the melody. So say we're in the key of C again. That would be our melody to F, to C, to G. So the listener is going to perceive a melodic phrase as da 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 Okay? Now, if, you, if you're getting a little overwhelmed, I have a PDF that has literally every triad up and down the neck in every key. So go check that out. I'll, I'll link that in the description. Um, but here are some exercises you can do uh, if you use that PDF as well so that you can get your head around triads and start using them in a musical sense. Okay. So what I would do is I would play, let's start in the key of C. Let's start in the key of C and we're just going to play our triads here, right? Which is right here. Then we're going to move up one position, one inversion. So every one of these notes is going to invert up. So this dude. So this note now is going to be the root. So the second note is now going to be the, the low note. So we go down here. And then the second note here is going to be the low note. So it sounds like this. And then you're going to do that for all string sets. Okay? And you're going to do that for every key, right? So you're going to have your C, your F, and you're going to just go around. You're going to, you know, um, B flat, E flat. And I want you to just go around and 
practice your triads up and down. And then you can play minor triads, right? Same. Uh. Right? And that's that's C minor triad up and down the neck, okay? And things don't actually get musical until you start combining triads. Until you start saying, okay, I want to play C, and then I want to play an F. And then you're going to start realizing, okay, like, there's a lot of music, Hendrix and Jubu Smith and, you know, Sharky and, like, literally everyone, Steve Cropper, like, everyone uses triads to make their guitar sing, you know? It's so rare that you see somebody just play G like this. You're used to probably play, hearing it sounding like this, you know? Or... All that using triads. You know, you're you're rarely hearing somebody go like this. You're used to hearing. You know, something with a little more motion. I love that motion up and down the neck with triads, okay? Um, so here is an exercise now to get you from the lowest part of the neck all the way to the highest part of the neck. So I'm gonna play in the key of C. Then I'm going to play a triads, which is C, E, G. Then I'm going to invert one and go E, G, C. Then I'm going to keep my first finger right here and go G, C, E. Come up here and go C, E, G. Come up here, E, G, C. Come all the way up here and go G, C, E. And end up here, which is C, G, C, E, G. Okay? You come back to You can do it in the next key, you know? You can do it in F. Um, until you run out of real estate. B flat, you know, and so on and so forth. And you're going to start to see chords all the way up and down the neck rather than just be like, ah, I'm stuck in this position. I'm stuck in that position. Um, so... That has been proven like super, super useful uh, for myself. And I'm sure you're going to start to recognize riffs that use these triads up and down the neck. Um, and just so you can kind of get a taste of where things are going, you can really, really do a lot with triads. You can do like you can make melodies happen really, really quickly. Right? All that's using three-note triadic voicing. If you're looking for some more exercises, I have that in that PDF download as well. Try to challenge yourself to do all the major triads, all the minor triads in all the keys, okay? You're going to need to know all the keys. And if you're feeling a little skittish, do the main guitar keys at first, you know? Uh, my guitar teacher would probably kill me if he heard me that say that. But like, you know, A, G, E. C, you know, you could do those first because you're going to use them more. Uh, but don't be afraid of flat keys um, because when I want you to be prepared when you encounter them. I don't want you to all of a sudden be like, oh, my gosh, it's in B flat. I never played there, so I'm just, like, going <laughs> to lay out. Um, so, anyways, all that to say, triads, all the keys, major, minor. We didn't cover anything diminished or augmented today, and that's okay. You know, we'll get to that in a, a different different lesson. Um, but I want to show you how, you know, how these can be used musically, how these can be used up and down the neck and how they can be used so that you can have confidence on the instruments so that you can feel fearless when you're in this position or this position all the way up and down the neck. I never want you to feel stuck or feel like you're locked into a part of the neck and you like can't get out. You know, you can't venture outside of that zone because that's a horrible feeling. Uh, I had that for years. Um, so triads are really, really the way. And if you want to even start exploring soloing, the chords, the, these triads and soloing are basically first cousins. You know, it's like I'll play a solo in C. And if I know all my triads, 
I'm able to do a solo. Just I could do it almost exclusively with triads. So C to F, back to C, back to C, because I'm always landing. F. Like I can literally run a solo up and down the neck because I know my triads. And I want you to feel that type of confidence as well. So, you know, take a deep dive, really, really dig into this. And, you know, don't get scared if it doesn't come to you in the first 30 seconds. These things that are, you know, challenging, they take work, you know. So I hope I hope this video has helped you today. Let me know. Um, let me know if you're struggling with anything in the comments. I'm here to help. Thank you so much for tuning into Soulful Guitar Lessons. I will see you next time.